So, AI. Every kid nowadays is using it on their dumb little essays because they don't know how to write anymore. Oh, and the uh, the teachers, um, I really think the teachers aren't enjoying this either. <laughs> Kids nowadays probably don't even know how to write on paper anymore. They probably don't even know what paper is. They just open up their iPads and their laptops and then type in, write this essay on the Civil War. If they opened a book, they would wonder where the subway surfers and the share button is. That's, that's how bad Gen Z is nowadays. But jokes aside, I'm going to be using it for a good purpose today. I'm going to uh, birth a wonderful experience for Roblox players to play. Give me a Roblox game idea. Space Explorer. <laughs> players start on a space station and select missions to complete. Okay. Oh my god, never mind. It would be an educational game. They should they should call this AI nerd GPT because uh, it's a nerd. <laughs> Give me another Roblox game idea. Mystery Mansion. Okay. Players explore different rooms, search for clues. There's a killer and they need to find clues. Oh, the game would have different endings. So it's like those camping kind of experiences, I guess. Unfortunately, um, that sounds kind of boring. So give me a, a game idea where you raise pets. Now that is how you make money on Roblox right there. Let's see what this comes up with. Pet paradise. Okay. Okay, you can uh, get animals. Uh, pretty, pretty standard so far. They would be responsible for feeding their pet. <laughs> you know what? This sounds kind of good. I mean, it's pretty much adopt me, but I'm really interested to see how the AI would try and make that. So, all right, well, let's make it. I have Roblox Studio. Um, Installing right here and boom new game. Let's do this. Oh, you, you thought I was gonna code the game myself and put real effort into it oh uh, yeah actually i was uh i was exactly going to do that i'm gonna work very very hard on it so subscribe uh, <laughs> oh my god every roblox programmer's job is taken <laughs> it just pooped that out like it was nothing that is actually pretty crazy well um let's go ahead and implement it i guess uh let's put a local script here do a little this and a little this <laughs> This is what our pet's gonna look like. <laughs> we'll change it later. It's okay. Play. What the? <laughs> Never mind, guys. Our jobs are safe. We don't have to worry about AI taking all the programming jobs. <laughs> nice one, ChatGPT. You really hit it out of the park with that code. <laughs> Um, so I tried anchoring it, and it's, uh, certainly here still. <laughs> There's a few other issues that I have to address, but it's not in the floor. So this is a big leap forward for AI, uh, thinking. But I don't plan on editing any of the code myself. I want this to be a purely AI-generated experience, so y'all are gonna have to deal with this for <laughs> quite a bit. Um, all right, I just made a folder for the pets, so I'm gonna store this away for now. Now. But first I need to name it. Um, Trish. Bam. That's what that one's gonna be called. Alright, let's make another guy. He's gonna be a little longer than the previous pet. Pet face. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> He's gonna be green because I, I kind of wanted him to be a dragon. Um, dragons have tails too, so we're gonna do something like this. Add some ears. <laughs> His eyes, no. <laughs> this will have to do, however. Let's play test to make sure he follows us just like Tris did. Oh, yep. Working as uh, intended. <laughs> I'll try asking the AI to write the code again. I don't think I can bear that for the entire video. Write better code to make a part follow behind you. This looks um, pretty much the exact same as the previous code. There's a few changes though, so let's not get too doubtful just yet. All right, bam, it's in. Here we go. Oh dear God. <laughs> Look at the scroll bar, it just keeps erroring. <laughs> it can't find our human, I guess, is the issue. Oh, <gasps> I fixed it. I just added this little wait timer right here and it followed actually really smoothly. I'm sorry I had to intervene. This isn't a truly AI made game anymore, but I think we can all agree that this is a little more visually appealing than the uh, issue <laughs> that was going on before. So 
Yeah, this kind of looks just like Adopt Me. We're pretty much, we're pretty much there. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find a way to make him face us so he doesn't like, you know, uh, you know. So I'll be right back and let me go do that. It's perfect. That actually looks pretty good. So the next move I think is to uh, add three more pets I think is good. So let's put him away in his folder and let's name him Drag because he's a dragon. <laughs> Um, the next one I want to be a cat, so let's go make that. This looks like a good cat face right here. Give him a tail, and perfect. Oh wait, I forgot. I need to union him together. Uh, <laughs> that takes away his face, but we can put it back. There we go, that looks good. <laughs> I was going to make a bear, but then I saw this, uh, <laughs> this in the toolbox, so I kind of want it to be a dog now. <laughs> what a cute little, what a cute little puppy. You know, give him a little tail and he's done. Oh, look at the little guy. Aww. <laughs> I tried to union him into one part and that, that kind of messes up the face a bit. So I might have to choose a different picture. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. That, that looks a little more normal. I I'll take it. Let's name him Pup. And what should our last pet be? Hmm. I'm thinking a snake. I think that'd be pretty cool. Give him some scales. That looks that looks pretty snake-like. And I think this is going to be our face. Um, <laughs> I couldn't find anything better, guys. I don't want to hear any complaining. This is a good face. So let's rename it. And boom, that's all of our pets done. So I kind of need a map. Um, can't really... Uh, can't really ask an AI to make that for you, so guess I'll have to put in some human, some human effort. Oh no. Let's add some houses. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a neighborhood street as the map. And I know these houses are free models, guys, but I think we already know the uh, effort level on this game isn't going to be the highest. So calm down. <laughs> Let's make a nice little road. Just added some trees. That looks pretty good. Street lights. Bam. This is starting to look like a real neighborhood. Not bad. All right, so now that we have all of this, um, we need to build a pet shop because you have to get the pets somehow, right? So I'm gonna need to add a money system, a pet store, feeding. Let's hope the AI can do all of that. Our pet store is going to look um, exactly like the rest of the houses but that's okay because we're gonna make the roof a different color and boom perfect that's a that's a good pet store right there let's add a sign to label it as the pet store just so that players know pet store beautiful all right so now that we have this i'm going to add some lighting inside of here so lamp this will do oh my god that's bright Let's add a few more to, uh, you know, light up the whole place. And boom, what a normal looking interior of a house. <laughs> so if we take a little peek inside of our pet store right here, you'll see, oh my God, you can buy the pets now. So basically what I have set up is that they earn you money. So when you buy your first cat, it'll start making money and then it's kind of like cookie clicker you level up your pets and they earn more and more money and that's the gameplay so <laughs> if we test it out right here i can go in and bam i just purchased one cat and then you can see <laughs> it's following me um i now own it so <laughs> Listen, I know it's kind of creepy and it doesn't look exactly like Adopt Me, but it's pretty close, you know, so I, I like it. <laughs> and you can kind of build your army over here. So as you can see, we're earning progressively more money and we can buy a dog. Oh, look at the cute little dog. It just got swallowed up, but now we're making a ton of money. So let's buy some more dogs. Here they come. And now the dough is just rolling in. So I can now afford a snake. So let's buy one. <laughs> that is the worst looking pet yet. I actually really hate that. <laughs> The original AI prompt said I should have pet food included, so I'm gonna do that. And boom, we won. We, uh, we won. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go stop the game here and I'm gonna ask the AI to make it rain pet food. And what that's gonna do basically is when it rains pet food, you get a huge money boost. So, oh my God, this is really good. Well, perfect, I'm gonna yoink. <laughs> All right, I pasted that in with a few modifications. So, oh, 
Oh my gosh, it, it didn't work. <laughs> Once again, I have to fix the AI, stupid. <laughs> Can collide, true. Okay, that will fix it from falling through the floor. Yay, we have our food. And look, when we pick it up, our pet earns money. <laughs> well, I guess our game's complete. It has all the necessary features of a adopt and raise a pet game. So time to publish it. Let's name it adopt, adopt it question mark i think that's a pretty fitting bootleg name right there raise cute little guys and earn money that's that's a that's a good description right there genre town and city of course and boom it's created and published so go wild guys uh don't have too much fun with this there's no game passes or uh, pay to win at all so this is actually uh, better than adopt me but it looks like my work here is done so make sure to subscribe for more awesome games like this one. Oh, and also join my group um we will eventually become the biggest group on roblox it's inevitable so just join now while you can there's no point in waiting yeah uh see ya bye bye